The full moon in Gemini is happening on Wednesday, December 7th, 2022 at 11.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this full moon is sometimes known as the cold moon or the long night's moon, which basically represents the entrance of winter and the fact that our nights have been getting longer due to the sun setting earlier. During a full moon, light shines on things that are hidden. Whatever is tucked away in our subconscious rises to the surface and grabs our full attention. This is a time where we're encouraged to release anything that no longer resonates with us or supports us on our continuous evolution. Gemini is a mutable air sign that's ruled by the planet Mercury. It's adaptable, intellectual, and has a constant influx of thoughts and ideas constantly going through the mind. Mercury is the planet of communication. It's the messenger to the gods, which makes Gemini very witty, very observant, and very clever. It's also a social sign that's extremely expressive and loves to discuss all their opinions, all their knowledge that they accumulate, because again, they're super intellectual. Gemini is a highly energetic sign that's always on the go. And on the flip side, this can manifest as nervousness or anxiety or a restlessness okay so that is something to be mindful of with this full moon coming up being that gemini is the third sign of the zodiac it rules the third house which is the house of the mind and the house of expression it's how we communicate with those around us especially our family our friends and even our co-workers it's a house of logic and reasoning and it also represents short distance travel siblings childhood socializing and any sort of activities that we do on a daily basis the twins is the symbol for gemini which signifies its dual nature there's two sides to gemini and this energy can kind of adapt and morph into anything depending on its environment remember it's a mutable sign so it's very changeable and highly adaptable When the moon is in Gemini, emotions are thought through rather than felt. Gemini likes to analyze and rationalize, yet the moon is intuitive and sensing. So this is kind of a contradiction. During this time, you're more likely to ruminate on feelings regarding past or even current situations. Now is the time to process any emotions that have been keeping you stuck and find a way to release them. Think about anything that you haven't been able to move on from and spend time working through it. This way you can move forward and lighten your energetic load because when we hold on to things, when we hold on to feelings, it keeps us stuck, it keeps us stagnant. So this is a great time to think about all of those things that might be holding you back and working through them so you can move forward. Since Gemini is such a changeable sign, you might also notice some frequent shifts in your emotions and how you're feeling. Your mood might be up and down. One minute you might be feeling great and then all of a sudden you have a thought of something from the past or a memory that's been repressed that comes up and now it's like you have to think about how you feel so that can change your mood instantly. It's very important to acknowledge the emotion yet rise above it so that you aren't stuck in lower vibrational frequencies. In no way am I saying to ignore or dismiss how you feel. I'm just saying don't get swept away by those emotions and be able to feel them, think about them, and rise above them, transmute them. Part of evolving on a spiritual journey is learning how to transmute dark to light. If you can learn how to rise above those negative emotions without getting caught up in their darkness, you're on the right path. This isn't the easiest thing to do, okay? I know, but it is something that you can work towards doing. It's not fun to be stuck in these low vibrational energies, okay? Who likes to be sad? Who likes to be angry? Who likes to be uh, stuck and bonded to their trauma? Nobody, right? So part of our growth, part of our uh, journey is to be able to accept that it happened, right? Acknowledge it but not be victimized by it, okay? So with this energy, spend time thinking about all these things that may be keeping you a victim and learn how to rise above it and move forward.
December 7th, 2022 falls on a number seven day, just like every full moon that we've had since August. As a reminder, the seven energy is very spiritual. It's a seeker of the unknown. It's the philosopher who spends ample amounts of time in solitude and meditation. The seven energy also represents intellect and intuition. It has both sides to it. Some may say this is the conscious and the subconscious mind. This energy has the ability to observe both minds bring them into cohesion so that they can operate optimally. This is a good day to spend time alone, process your thoughts, sift through any that don't serve you or support who you are in this present reality. Use your intuition to assist you in deciding what you can let go. Sometimes we tend to hold on to things and it's hard for us to decide what we need to let go. It's hard for us to make a decision to let go, but trust your intuition that whatever it is you're releasing is something that has to be released in this moment for you to move on. It's also a good time to communicate with your spirit guides, your higher self, or any other beings that exist on higher realms. Remember, Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which is the messenger to the gods, Hermes, Toth. Okay, this is a, a sign or a planet that allows us to have that divine communication. Use the light of the full moon to see that higher beings do exist and use the energy of Gemini to help you form a line of communication. Now let's talk about the three things that you can do to harness the energy of the Gemini full moon. Number one, talk about any hidden emotions. With Gemini being such a social sign, this is the perfect time to have those tough conversations with the people who are closest to you. Have there been any grudges or negative feelings that you've been holding towards your family or your friends? Has there been anyone that you felt hurt by yet haven't spoken up about how their actions might have evoked pain, anger, or sadness within you? This full moon supports you in talking about those feelings that you've been holding on to, anything that's been festering and causing blockages, energetic blockages within your psyche. When we don't release lower energies, lower vibrations, they manifest as disease, dis-ease in our physical reality. So it's important to be able to process them filter them through and let them go. Take advantage of this energy and communicate whatever emotions that you've been hiding. If you've been meaning to have this conversation yet you find yourself constantly putting it off, now is the perfect time. This is easier said than done since talking about things that have hurt us with the people who have hurt us can be really tough, but with the Gemini full moon, it's a little easier to do. The second thing to do with this Gemini full moon is to write a release letter. Now there's plenty of rituals that we can do during a full moon. If you haven't seen my full moon rituals video, go ahead and check it out up here. But with this full moon being in Gemini, writing a letter of release, a letter of forgiveness, is one of the perfect rituals to perform. This letter can be for the release of fears, toxic habits, negative emotions, old thought patterns, or anything that you feel that you need to release in order to progress. Again, when we hold on to lower vibrational dark energy, we weigh ourselves down and we inhibit our process of spiritual growth. Writing a release letter is simple and freeing. First, you take some time to settle in your body. Take a few deep deep cleansing breath so that you can start the process of release. So on your inhale, you're breathing in new energy. On the exhale, you're releasing old energy. Then you think about whatever it is that you want to release or whoever that you plan to forgive. Write it down and get as descriptive as you want. You can write about why you want to release this toxic habit or why you're forgiving this person, what they did to you, okay? Write down whatever comes to mind. It's just the act of releasing. So anything that you're going to release, write it all down on paper. After that, imagine yourself cutting a cord between you and whatever it is that you're releasing. If it's a person that you're forgiving, imagine them standing there with a pink bubble of love just surrounding them, right? And then start to create positive feelings between you two. Let them know that you forgive them and then see them floating off away in that pink bubble. Once you're finished writing and doing your visualization, you can declare that these things have now been released and these people have now been forgiven. Then, under the light of the full moon, burn your letter of release so that you can transmute all that dark energy and turn it into light and positivity. 
The third thing to do during this Gemini full moon is to think about who you are. After letting go of all the things that you aren't, the things that you've accumulated by way of other people, think about who you are at your core. What do you like? What don't you like? How do you want to live your life? With the Gemini full moon falling on a seven day, spend time getting to know yourself all parts of you. Think about the real you who's been hiding underneath the guise of other people. Then commit to expressing your truest self from here on out. It's a wonderful time to define who you are. Spend time crafting your personal mission statement and ensure that it aligns fully with your soul. Introduce the parts of yourself that you hide to the parts of yourself that you naturally express. Work on bringing them into harmony with one another in an effort to become whole. Remember, Gemini is symbolized by the twins, which reminds us of the natural duality that exists. But being able to balance two polarities and bring them into equilibrium is the ultimate goal when working with opposing forces. Use this full moon to think about your polarity how you express it in the world, and how you want to express it in the world. Do you tend to lean more towards one side? Are you more closed-minded? Do you want to be more open-minded? What do you want to bring into balance within you? Those are just some things to think about. The affirmations for this month are, it is safe for me to express my feelings. I am in control of my mind. I honor the masculinity and femininity within. The full moon in Gemini brings forth a restless energy with fast changing emotions. Find some time to center that energy and release any excess that no longer serves you. Express to other people anything that you've been holding back and invite your most authentic self to step forward. Don't give anyone the power to define who you are or get stuck in dark emotions. Be sure that you think about who you are, who you want to be, and who you are becoming. Transmute anything that's not already of light and set yourself free so that you can climb the stairs of ascension. The 1212 portal is just a few days after the Gemini full moon and I talk a little bit more about this in that video, so go ahead and check it out up here if you haven't seen it already. So that's my take on the full moon happening in Gemini on December 7th. If you like this video and found it helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that we can stay connected. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you so much love and so much light. And until the next sunrise or sunset, Namaste.